Hello, welcome to a GibbsCAM demonstration from Midwest CAM Solutions. This demonstration is for the Operations Manager and the FindOps plugin. This is the part I selected. It's a complex part, has hundreds of operations and multiple coordinate systems. To access the Operations Manager, you right click on your operation list and grab the Operation Manager choice. This is a spreadsheet looking list that has all the operations in this list. You can scroll down through the list. There's 307 operations. Two clicks in any of these ops will load the process over that you used. It'll show you the details in the process so you, you don't have to open up the process to see what you used and how you did it. Um, it'll give you some information right at a glance. Um, so the operations manager is another tool you can use just to work in. And you can slide this over on another screen, another monitor, and gain some real estate. Each role is an operation, and each column can be sorted as well. So if I click in the depths, it lists them by the shortest or smallest depth first, by coordinate systems in order, by uh, tools, smallest tool, largest tool, or by op numbers. The Find Ops plugin is in the plugin menu called Find Ops. And Find Ops plugin is used to find things, of course. And it has many facets and, and methods of sorting and grouping up operations. If you just want to find maybe all the holes in this part and find them, it just found every hole in the part. If I just wanted to find the holes in a particular coordinate system, it'll find those holes. And then if I tell it to show just those selected ops, we can work within this, this these whole groups here and sort the orders if you'd like. You can right click and move to and move any selected op to a tile number where you'd want to park it. You could also say select the, the holes in, but only look from tool 1 through 11 and find those. Now it found a millboard that is in this coordinate system. If you turn this off and find them now it find, found all the holes within the range of tools that we specified. It's a pretty uh, slick um, tool to organize and group up things. Um, it's, a, it's a great tool to use sometimes just to find something like in one of my work groups here for the front holes. If I want to find the operation that used, used uh, this circle to drill a hole with it, I can just say, well, find any operation that uses that geometry. Find it. Right now it's looking through all the operations, looking for anything that used that circle. And when it does find it, it'll be placed up here in the beginning of my operation list. I grabbed a couple other bodies that were used in other ops. Now if I just want to see them here, I can say show just those ops. Of course, double click here, it'll bring back the process that built this operation. So when you do have, you know, hundreds of holes and tools and complex part, it's a pretty nice uh, feature where it can just find me what I'm looking for with all have to hunt down my operation list. Um, now, this part, let's explain a little bit about how we machined this part. I actually machined uh, one side at a time. In other words, I took all the tools I needed to machine this, this side and let the system machine it all. And by doing this, um, I didn't have to worry about um, what the tool's going to do next. I just programmed one side, did everything I, I felt needed to be done to it, and then went to the other side. And I did all the, uh, the, the milling first, and I went and did all the holes. But I worked on one side at a time to simplify the, the, uh, the, the steps in making this part. And within GibbsCam, you can sort operations with the click of the button on the operation on the machining pellet, sort ops, or right click and sort ops, but that will only sort within a coordinate system. When you're working on multiple sides of a part outside of coordinate systems, we have to sort with drop and dragging tiles or using the find ops and operations manager for all those sorting tasks. This is what we'll show you here. So tool one, we started with tool one, tool two, three, etc. Right down the list. When I get to my next gap here, where I go to this op, that's another side. So ops 41 through 1 are all the milling in this first side. 
Now what I want to do is take all tool ones and get them together so we don't do extra tool changes. So we can um, easily do that by telling it to use this tool, selected tools, and just find all the ops that use this tool. It just found them all. Right click on my operations manager list and just show those selected ops. Now tools, I mean operations one, two, three are for the first side. Well 42 is another side. Well if I go all the way down to the very end, shift click and group up these ops, right click and move to operation four. In other words, all these selected ops, park them right behind op three. Move them. There they go, it did it. Grab tool two. Let's find all those ops and then just show me those selected ops. Now my first gap here is after 58, so I'll select it, shift click the end, and we're going to move these to 59 and move to. Go to the next two tool, find them, show them. My first gap, let me scroll down, it's after 77. We'll shift click the bottom. We grouped them up. We're going to move them now to 78, move to. So what we just did in a few minutes here is we restarted hundreds of operations so extra tool changes now are not going to happen. So if I rewind and play, so tool one is doing everything it can. It moves to the next side, does everything it does there, and it'll move to the next side, and etc. Keep working around my part and not, you know, having any extra tool changes. Of course, all these groups that we we reorganized, you can always restart them independently as well. But uh, sorting them per tool uh, fits the need here and saved me gobs of time. So try using the Operations Manager in the FindOps plugin to do these tasks and you'll save lots of time. I hope this presentation, uh, hope this presentation helps and uh, if you have any questions, give us a call. But this includes, concludes a little demonstration and have a great day. Thank you.